All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to invite NotSoBot to your Discord server and how to use it. And if you're not familiar with NotSoBot, it lets you do fun things like create your own memes. Uh, it's got a few moderation commands. You can search for images. You can automatically post different images from the web and all of those fun things. So in order to start out, the first thing you got to do is actually get it onto your server because I kicked it off of here for the purposes of making this tutorial. So to get it, you either have to click the link that I'm going to put in the video description or you're going to find and click the add not so bot link from Google. They don't have like a front page of their website right now. I don't know if they ever do. And then once you click on that, you'll get a logo that looks like a dude wearing sunglasses with a smile. And it'll tell you that NotSoBot wants access to create commands on your server. And I'm going to invite it to my Chupacabra test server. It just wants administrator access. And then I will tell it that I am people. And then boom. Over here you should see that the bot has entered your server. From here, uh, one of the things I don't like about the bot, it doesn't tell you, like, is it slash commands that it uses, or is it a prefix that it uses? It actually uses both, which can be a little bit confusing. So the first thing you got to do is get a sense of how it, the command structure works, because they've got a list of commands on their website. They've got, like, a wiki section, and that's fine, but again, you need to know how to use it. So there's two ways. The first way is to just at the bot, and then say, like, what are the prefixes of the server? And it's dot or period. So we could say dot help. You can also say slash help because not so bot has a slash command support. So either one of those will work. And then we can start using it. So the first thing that you can do is we can look under the fun section where you can create tags to tag different images or tag different people on the server if you want that lets you search for things that you've already posted on the server and you can also make different emojis out of stuff that you've posted onto the server so let's grab a picture uh random wtf that should be fun perfect the weird turtle dude this is one of those situations where if you know where it's from great if not we're gonna leave that unspoken we're going to post the turtle dude. And what we can do with these is there's a bunch of different stuff in here that we can do. Uh, we can emojiify stuff. There is under image manipulation, we can add effects to this image before we're ready to add text to it. So let's start by deep frying it. And so what NotSoBot's going to do is it's going to add an effect to it. Or I can even respond to this one. And we can say, uh, what is that? Purplify? Blurple. That's what it is. Blurple. And if you at the image in question, it will respond to this and make edits to this one. But if you just keep typing in stuff after that, It'll deep fry whatever the most recent picture is, so just be aware of that. So now that we've got a weird picture, we can add text to that. So for that, we're going to want to find where the fun memification stuff is. It's in here somewhere. You can search for images on everywhere, too. Like You can search for regular ones on Imgur, on Giphy, on Steam. You can put stuff into Wolfram Alpha if you want. Oh wait, no, it's slash I space meme. And then I can add like Wowzers. It's pizza time. And then it'll add that text to the image. I'm not sure how it does the word break. Maybe it's just like half goes on the top and half goes on the bottom. So two words up top, two words at bottom. You can create your own meme images. We can search slash Giphy space, and it'll tell you what you want to search for or query, and I can say uh, foxes. Oh, there you go. 
And it'll have a little pop-up that shows me all the matching Fox pictures that we could use. I'll post that one. We can also slide, slash Imgur and search for um, Jake from State Farm. Okay, apparently the Imgur... Some of these commands don't appear to be completely functional, but some of them definitely are. So in which case, if Imgur is not working, what's going on with... Uh, wikihow dot wikihow query random oh it'll tell you how to write a query letter dot wikihow uh, recipe so it can give me wiki oh okay that's actually not bad wikihow and then I want what else do I want first aid Oh, cool. You can literally search for things with WikiHow with this. That's kind of neat. What else can we look up? If I look up a Steam ID, it'll give me a Steam profile. So that's dot .steam profile. Oh, it pulled some other person whose URL is Alcott. That's weird. What is my URL these days? Uh, let's see. Dot .steam profile Larry Chupacabra. Is that one word? I forget how that's displayed onto Steam. Oh, nope, it found me. I've got a little mushroom icon that shows me that I joined in 2009. I live in Colorado. Um, I have no trade bans, no VAC bans. That's my Steam ID and everything, and pass names. All right, so we've looked at that. There's some different moderation tools that you can use if you so desire. These ones are like allowing different people in certain channels, logging certain activity to a specific channel on the server. Um, I mostly would just use this for fun stuff. Uh, you can get informational commands. You can get information about channels, guilds, invite info, members, what game members playing. So if it's a common game, it'll look up information and find that for you. Okay, so we got image editing, fun random stuff that you can use. Ooh, let's do the ASCII commands. Let's do dot ASCII, something, something, Darth, Plagueis, the wise. I don't really know. Maybe he had a killer cookie recipe. Oh, and then it'll turn all of that into literal ASCII art. Oh, in this case, it's less ASCII art and makes the ASCII version of whatever you type. So let's try that again. Dot ASCII, then type hello, everyone. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of neat. Not super what I was looking for, but I, I assume that it would just take the art and arrange it in the picture of, like, Chewbacca or something, but it literally just spits out ASCII text, so that's a good way to get someone's attention if you want. And then let's do, let's grab a meme. Something with text on it. And then once I've got something, I can write it out. Let's just grab this one. We'll copy the image, post it. And there's actually a command here where you can use like a text reading feature in order to show you what is on the thing. So we can do OCR dot OCR. And then it'll tell me what words are on the image. Okay, let's take like a Spanish meme. And then let's copy this. No idea what it says yet. But then we can do dot OCR. And there's actually an OCR translate feature. OCR translate. And this will allow me to translate whatever is in the text automatically and then tell me what it says. 
And there is a deep rage burning inside of you, but you have to be nice at work. Wow. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, so that's really nice. So basically it'll translate whatever the, in the language is into English, I'm assuming. And then if you want it in something else, you probably say like space uh, German or something else, you know, whatever you want it to do. So that's kind of like a brief look what, at what some of the things are that Not-So-Bot can do. It's not really a game bot so much as it's just like a utility bot that can do things like post images. You can search for different images on like Giphy and post them. You can create your own emotes and emojis and memes using it. You can get it to write out things and share certain things. It's got some basic moderation commands. It's got a whole list of different server settings. So you can do things like change the prefix if you want. It's got different tools like giving you the hash value of a picture. You can create a QR code. You can scan the image for text and tell you what it says. You can do screenshots, you can do translations. All these lovely things are available to you through this bot. It's not as fate maybe feature rich as say all the things that you can post with a bot like meme or uh, what is it, dank memer. But it also has the ability to search for memes on pretty much any platform, including not safe for work ones like E624. So if you're looking for a bot that kind of has these fun image editing capabilities, and this one has a lot, um, I would definitely recommend Not So Bot. It's a lot of fun, creates memes, posts them, edits pictures, lets you search for different GIFs and share them. All these things available for the low, low price of absolutely free. I don't even think there is a login button, but I don't see anything in particular that is required to have premium. So maybe that'll change in the not too distant future, but I will put all the links to this in the video description below, including the invite link and also the link to go and see all of the different commands. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye everybody and have a good one.